It is here, my lovelies, the month of March 2022, and it is a big one. Okay, so buckle the fuck up and prepare because this month is cray cray on so many different levels, okay? It, it's just, it's a big month, okay? And we're gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about the world events, my predictions, what I think is gonna happen, okay? So buckle in and let go. Alright, March. March is a mother effing month, man. It is a mother effing month and it's a weird month, okay? So just prepare. What is up, my fellow weird ones, black sheep, outcasts, mystics, healers, all of my fellow weird ones out there in the world. Welcome back to my little corner of the internet, my channel here on YouTube. <laughs> my name is Tawny Michelle. I am not all love like twin flames and unicorns, although you may get that side of me in this video because it is Pisces season and Jupiter and Neptune is involved. So like, you know. <laughs> so yeah, I am a practicing astrologer. I am into spirituality. I do tons of spiritual shit. If you would like to join me or you like my videos, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below because it really, really helps me out and I would really, really, really appreciate it. All right, so in this video, we're gonna talk about March. What the fuck's going on in March, okay? Just really quick, before we get into it, let me plug my shit, okay? I have a Patreon where I do tons of exclusive shit, workshops, you get weekly astro lives for just $5 a month where you can find out about all of this shit I talk about on my channel beforehand and we go into more detail. You just get a lot more if you're really into my astrology then Patreon's the way to go or if you want to just learn more about spirituality and healing and all of that jazz then Patreon. Check out my Patreon. I'm uncensored over there. I can talk freely over there. Also, if you want to learn astrology or tarot, check out my links down below to my website where you can buy my astrology course and my tarot course that I've done. If you're interested in learning how to make astrology and tarot more relatable, to do it yourself or to do it for others, definitely check that out down below. I also do personal readings. You can check that out down below as well. And yeah, that's basically it. So Let's get into March, okay? A lot has happened since February, okay? What I really want to say is that we are starting off March with a lot of Pluto energy, but it's just the first few days of March and it's just this end point of February where there's a lot of Pluto energy. What is Pluto? Pluto rules over the underworld. It is the collective shadow, the collective unconscious, okay? But Pluto itself rules over collective fear. There's a lot of collective fear and obsession and powerlessness going on in the world. And when we feel those ways and we don't address them or feel them and we deny them, we start projecting them onto others, right? And it just becomes a cesspool of chaos. And that's basically how we are starting off March. And we see that in the world with the Russia-Ukraine situation. And I'm going to talk about that in a minute. So we are kind of starting off in this collective fear and this collective obsession and paranoia kind of energetic standpoint. March is really about listening to everybody else or listening to your internal self. It's kind of like, where do you need to dissolve the boundaries of separation in your life? March is a massive turning point and it's about having faith and unity in the darkness and in the dense, heavy energies. March is such a big turning point, okay, because Mars is finishing its two-year cycle. Now, what the fuck does that mean? Mars was last here in the very beginning of 2020 when the lockdown started and when the you-know-what, the virus that cannot be named started and basically like blew shit up, right? And that was when Mars and Saturn moved from Capricorn into Aquarius together. That was like, boom, that standpoint where it really kind of accelerated that energy. And like, next thing you know, like you hear about it a little bit and then it's like, oh yeah, we are locking down and that's that and like mask and this, that, and the other. And no mask, but mask, but you know, you know what I mean, you know what happened. So basically that was the last time Mars was here. And so at this point, it's kind of like a make or break. It's kind of like a turning point. Are we going back to that? Is, are we going to keep doing the COVID thing? Are we going to keep locking down? What's next for the collective? And that's really where we're at. And it's about to get a lot more airy and a lot more social in March, where social issues are going to be the prominent stand, like the prominent topic of March. What do I mean by that? Social constructs, social groups, a lot of these social issues that have already been coming up the last two years are really coming to a head in March. 
And March is kind of this turning point. Like I said, with Mars finishing its two year cycle and moving into Aquarius with Venus, I think this is either cleaning shit up from the last two years, rearranging shit or unifying shit, or it's starting something new, or it can repeat the same pattern. So those are the three options of my interpretation of this, because last time Mars went in with Saturn and then Saturn went in with Jupiter after it retrograded and went back into Aquarius. So this like Capricorn Aquarius aspect is crucial. It's kind of this battle between the old world and the new world or some kind of new world and kind of like the natural versus the unnatural, right? And so we're kind of at this crossroads and at this turning point where it's like, what the fuck is next? Where are we going as a collective? Where are we going as the world basically in general, you know, like what are we effing doing up in this pitch, you know, that's kind of where we're at. And so because we're going to have all this Aquarian energy and all this Pisces energy in March, like literally the chart is basically all in Aquarius or all in Pisces. It's like, it's Aquarius and Pisces. Now, what this tells me is that Aquarius is a very dense sign. It's ruled by Saturn and Saturn's in Aquarius. So it's very powerful here. And so I feel like there's going to be a lot coming out or being uncovered about the last two years. Are we going to learn the lesson? And I feel like there's so much going on right now. That is not what it appears to be. And I've been saying this since it happened last week on Instagram, since the whole Russian Ukraine thing happened. And I'm coming at this from a place of neutrality. I'm not on any political side. This is not political. This is my intuition. And this is what I see in the astrology. When that started, Mars and Venus were conjunct. They were coming up on Pluto. There was still a few degrees off and Mars and Venus were sextiling Neptune, which is the exact fucking way that this started in 2020 with the virus, right? With the pandemic because Neptune was involved. And I said in so many effing videos that I will put up on the screen, I said in so many videos, this is not what it appears, you guys. This There's going to be a lot of of delusion surrounding this. There's a lot of illusion surrounding this, like Neptune rules, Hollywood celebrities, media, propaganda, because it dissolves the lines of reality. You can't tell what's real and what's fake. So when you're watching a movie, you can get so into the movie at times, right? Where you start feeling what the character is feeling. It starts seeming like it's like so real and you're like totally immersed in the fucking movie. And it's like, I, I do it all the time. You know what I mean? And you almost forget that it's like not real, like it's being acted out, right? And that's this Neptune energy. Now I'm not saying it's that way with everything, but I feel like this situation with this whole World War III thing, I don't think it's gonna go down this way. I mean, this could be something that leads to something bigger in the long haul, but I don't think, I, I don't know. When I go inside myself and my intuition, I don't feel like what's being said is entirely accurate. And I've said that over on my Instagram since it first fucking happened. I was like, hold on. Neptune's involved. And when I stopped listening to the media and all these other voices and everybody freaking out and I like disconnected from social media for a little bit and I went inside myself, I was like, this is not, this is not what it appears to be. And now all of this other information is coming out. The fact that a lot of powerful people have ties to this situation and have agendas and kind of want this. And that's kind of even more messed up. And so I just don't think that it, I, I think because Venus, deals with money and material things, finances. Pluto deals with power, corruption, the deep, the hidden. Mars accelerates things and speed things up. And so, but Venus is involved. Venus is about bringing things together. Venus is about unity. And in this case, I think more of the financial aspect or the material aspect of Venus is playing out, but something is not right here, okay? And I will say that right here now on the fucking record, I know that may be controversial and I pray and I feel for all of the innocent civilians and stuff that have to deal with this. But from what I've seen and from what I feel, this is not what we think it is, okay? And a lot is being hidden from us that I think is going to come out over the next several months. Um, but definitely starting in March, I think there's going to be a lot coming out with this Mercury-Saturn conjunction and even possibly the Virgo full moon, I think will bring a lot out. There's still a lot to be revealed about the deep corruption and how deep things go with the people in power and the agendas they have, the intentions they have. And so I think March is really this turning point where it's kind of like, you know, where do we go from here? What do we believe, right? Pisces is very illusory, right? It can bring up a lot of illusions and contradictions. So I feel like the heaviness of a lot of this is in the mental air realm. It's not actually physical or real. I feel like the heaviness of a lot of this, um, not to say none of it's real, but I just feel like the density that we will be feeling in March 
and that we have been feeling actually on and off for the last two years is really in the air. It's in the mind. It's in the mental realm. It's the what ifs. It's the information. It's the mental obsession. It is all of that. The fear and the division is not real. It's manufactured. And that's basically what I'm trying to say, not necessarily with this whole situation that's going on now with Russia and Ukraine and all of that. I mean, some of it could be as well, but I mean, just in general, like everything is very mental and very airy. And some, and when you can, it's kind of like an attack on the mind. Um, and this is all intuitive stuff that I've really been downloading and that I've came to the conclusion to. You don't have to believe me, but the astrology also matches it. So it's not, like I said, this, I'm not on the side. I'm not saying you know, uh, <laughs> I'm not saying anything like that. I'm not trying to be uh, divisive here. I'm just saying from my personal standpoint, what I intuitively feel, uh, this is what's happening in my opinion. It's not what it seems. Neptune is involved. This is a war of the mind, okay? Just, just remember that, you know? So if things start getting heavy in March, because I feel like March has a lot of different potentials, and it could even be that people, you know, it's, it's a different potentials for different people, right? So... I feel like March has the potential to be very heavy and very dense because we have a lot of this Aquarian energy, but with all this Piscean energy, it's like finding hope, faith, and optimism, finding a way to surrender, finding a way to listen into your internal voice instead of the external, instead of the hive mind or the, you know, group think or the social dynamics, the collective social shit, find a way to go inward, find peace in going inward, find peace and powerlessness, find peace and surrender. That is where you will find it. This is really about transcending these darker collective social issues that are not getting us anywhere, that are just keeping us divided, right? And so March is kind of like that. And so it's about holding space for polarity, holding space for contradictions to be true coming to a place of neutrality and being like, that could be true or that could be true. I'm not going to attach to one or the other or judge one or the other just yet. I'm going to like stay in the middle. I'm going to feel it out and go from there and not like, you know, try to figure it all out right then and there or try to say, oh, this side's good and that side's bad or I'm on this side and not on that side. And we need to defeat side B because we're team A, you know, like, that shit is not fucking helping us. That shit is what has us in the chaos right now. And so we have to take a step back, go inside, let go of the fear, dissolve the divisions, and check in with ourselves and say, why am I so judgmental? Because everybody is a fucking mirror to you. So all of these sides or groups or people or whatever that you feel divided against or that you feel are separate from you or that you are judging are actually you and your perception. It is not them, it's you. And so if we are not the problem, there is no solution. Pisces season is about understanding that there is no separation. We are all connected. We are all one and understanding how to heal internally. It's about an internal awakening not an external awakening, an internal awakening. And that is what Pisces season is about. It is about feeling your feelings. It is about embracing empathy, embracing emotion, the vast, never ending collection of emotion, like literally all shades of emotion, embrace it all, no matter how comfortable, scary, dark, whatever. If you feel it, feel it. Don't fucking reject it or else Pisces season can be difficult. Okay, it can feel overwhelming, it can feel scary, it can feel like, you know, all your boundaries are being dissolved and you're being like invaded and, and all this other stuff, but you have to find a way to find peace amidst the feelings, amidst the emotions. Anyways, I also think that a lot of topics will come up in March of freedom of beliefs, the topics of freedom in general, rebellion and revolutionary energies as Mars and Venus will be traveling through Aquarius and eventually square Uranus. And so I think there will be a lot of truth coming out. We may see a lot being revealed with a lot of the authoritarianism and authoritarian takeovers that we've been kind of seeing, major social upheaval, but also it's weird. It's like a polarity, like March is a paradox in a lot of ways because I see like possible social unrest and social upheaval, but I also see excitement and enthusiasm. So it, it's just, it just really depends. Like I said, there's gonna be many different sides to many different things that are happening. So I also see experimentation, like consequences for science, consequences for experimentation, backlash for science. I think we may even see a lot more revealed about the origins of the pandemic and the solutions 
that have been that have come out to the pandemic. I think a lot more will be revealed there. I also think this is going to be a time of outcast, black sheep, mystics, underdogs, outlaws. Like this is definitely going to be a time for that. We're going to see those energies and those like archetypes all over. So definitely be watching out for that. But I think that it's kind of like, what do you believe? Because what you believe to be true is true. And so really understanding what do we believe? What are we putting our belief in and saying is true when maybe it's not anymore? Maybe we need to let go of old beliefs that no longer serve us. Or maybe we need to find a way to have faith hope and optimism if things get too dense, dark, or restrictive with all of this Aquarian energy this month. Because the collective energy in some ways I think may get very heavy and dense unless Venus is unifying, reconciling, and cleaning up a lot of the mess that we've been dealing with for the last couple years with Mars. So it'll be interesting to see which way it plays out. But anyway, so the very start of the month is like on and popping, like just boom right away. On the second, we have so much fucking happening. So watch for a ton of stuff to be happening like the first week of March. We have a new moon in Pisces, which I think is gonna be a lot about letting go of attachments, surrendering to new beginnings, um, unity, bringing up topics of unity, surrender, acceptance. Venus is out of shadow on that same day. So she's finally coming out of her retrograde cycle. And then we also have Venus and Mars exactly conjunct Pluto on that same day on the second this is def this is the exact conjunction so it may be like very intense but it's also going to be about finding hope and faith amidst the intensity amidst the darkness we also have mercury coming into a, its exact conjunction with saturn and aquarius so we have three conjunctions happening on the second that have been building for a while um <laughs> and yeah i think there's going to be I think that Mercury-Saturn conjunction is giving us a clue or bringing out some kind of information to do with this Venus-Mars-Pluto conjunction. I also think we may see a lot of cyber security, cyber attacks, technology uh, attacks coming up in the month of March or at least talk about them. A lot of social media stuff coming up. I mean, things are going to get pretty weird, <laughs> kind of. I think we may see major truths and reality checks and some serious information coming out in the very beginning of March. And then on the 6th, we have Venus and Mars moving into Aqua officially, uh, which is going to end that 2020 cycle. And this is like, okay, what are we doing now? You know what I mean? So I think, you know, it's going to be a time where it's like, are we done with this pandemic or not? How are we moving forward? Is something new coming? What What is the, what's going on? You know, I think this will put a light on restrictions on humanity, social upheaval. It's going to get a little bit weird, you know? How are we going to progress, right? I think it's going to bring about social issues and topics of social issues are going to become very big again. Putting action into collective issues, tons of topics on social media, social topics and, you know, labels, groups, and losing your identity to be a part of something bigger or for something bigger than yourself possible protests, taking the establishment rules and doing something different with them, cyber attacks, issues with crypto and technology, science, outcasting people in terms of, you know, the force of the establishment, bringing together divisions or forcing them. It's going to also be this time where it's like, do you want to follow rationale and science and this group or do you want to follow what you believe? even if that means that you're an outcast or you're an underdog or you're on the outskirts of society, you know? And yeah, I think, you know, it's going to bring a lot of this hard, dense, authoritarian division to light. We could also see some unconventional sexuality topics uh, coming up as well. On the 18th, we have a Virgo full moon and I'll be doing a separate video for that. And then from the 16th till the 22nd, Venus and Mars will take turns squaring Uranus. And so that mid-month section gets really crazy. <laughs> Venus squaring Uranus is could possibly bring up like feeling pressure to please others rather than embrace differences. We could see a lot of financial shocks or big issues, surprises, or shocking things coming up with crypto, natural resources, appeal to do something shocking or do something unconventional or stand out or be different or something like that. And then also with Mars squaring Uranus, uh, we could also see protests, rebellion, shakeups, you know, free will versus, uh, d versus force or freedom versus force, a lot of defiance and 
edginess in the air. We could also see food resources and natural resources versus tech energy, cyber attacks, power and electrical outages, engineered disasters, the natural versus the unnatural, backlash on science and uh, a lot of impatience and kind of the topic of outlaws and rebels. So then on the 20th, the sun will move into the sign of Aries and it will be Aries season, which we'll talk a little bit more about in April's video, but things are definitely going to be on and popping with fire energy. Uh, we're definitely going to be feeling a lot more like, okay, this is who I am. This is what I want. This is what I'm doing. And a little bit more individual. Towards the end of the month, Venus is going to start conjuncting Saturn, basically like around the 28th. And Mars will be getting close as well around that time. And so towards the end of the month, there could definitely be some seriousness in terms of uh, money resources or some like big serious restrictions in some way with money resources. Kind of like some hard news or something involving money resources etc and with this being in the sign of Aquarius it could involve crypto or bank accounts or technology in some way so that'll be really interesting to see how that plays out so that is basically the month of march you guys definitely let me know down below what you think the march horoscopes for each sign will be coming out this week it may be a few days late so just bear with me and yeah thank you guys so so much for watching this video i will see you guys in my next one 